Oh, today, 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 there's so much. So let's start boiling our water and let's get into everything. First, this right here, this behemoth, I'll get to in just a second because it's the grinder. It's here. The hand grinder is a reference at this point. This is the magic maker. Oh, I'm so excited. But first, I want to open up something that I've already been using because it excites me. And I have been changing the aesthetic of this place to make it feel more homey and roomy and something that I want to be in. And one of the big aspects of that is my computer. I still use Mac because that's all I have. I will have a gaming PC at some point. But when you interact with your computer, you have a keyboard and mouse and come on, open, open, open. This is a mechanical keyboard I got from 8-Bit Dell. I, oh, I didn't even notice that they had all this foam stuff. I've already opened it, but I like their packaging. So I was just gonna do like kind of an unboxing thing just because I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a video. No, there's no, we're not making any sort of like production of this. This is just, I wanna show you something that I'm really excited about. This is modeled, they have two versions. They have the Famicom and then the NES. This is modeled after the NES. You guys have probably seen it before, but listen to this. Well, uh, stop making sound. Oh, so good. And this is, see, it has these like B and A buttons, which is kind of cool. I didn't realize this because they sent it to me it's hot swappable, which I know is a thing for some people to put the switches that you want, which is cool. Also, so this is definitely made for PC. Um, it doesn't have extra buttons for you to switch out to like, like the Windows button. We don't have Windows button on Mac. It's control or not control, it's command. So this, I'm having to like retrain myself where buttons are, but the volume knob is actually like, it actually is a real volume turning knob. And like, there's so many cool things. Like, of course the 2.4 is right here and magnetic. Cool. What I really like are these switches. This originally comes all wrapped up, but I unwrapped it. Listen, these don't really, they're just buttons. Oh, it's so cool. They sent this to me, I did not have to pay for it. But if they would have said, no, we're not gonna send it to you, I would have paid for it. That's not my recommendation for you to buy it. Get whatever you want. It's a mechanical keyboard, it feels great. I like it the way it looks. I think it's really well made personally, and I'm excited to switch it out. I currently have a Keychron and a Newfie. This Newfie is this limited edition one, it's a low profile Newfie, and this is for, um, you know, this does work for Mac. It has swappable actual keycaps, which allows me to actually have the right buttons. They have all these different like stickers to put on these, game over. It's cool. It ships with, you know, cables you need. And I like 8 those cables because they always brand them, which is, I find to be a really good touch. But when I got this in the mail yesterday, I was like, oh, finally, I reached out to them when they released this. And they said, we won't be able to send you anything till November. And I had forgotten. And then now, I have it. It's so cool. And I can't wait to have a gaming PC and really be able to like utilize everything here. But that is only part of today. I said that I had ordered some new coffee gear and I, I have. I ordered a new grinder and a new tea kettle or kettle. This right here is, let's move this over a little bit. There we go. This right here is the grinder and I'll show you. I know that it's a little off center, but my room is small. So you're going to have to forgive me on that one. Let's get some better lighting. Better. So first we have uh, the grinder. This grinder is very powerful. It is a flat burr grinder. The grinder I have, the crank one is two cones like this, a cone and then a reverse of a cone and then it grinds like that. This are two flat pieces of metal that grind together and it just, I mean, there's a mo, so watch it, watch it move. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's a motor. Just change the grind setting to that. And then, and then catches the grinds in this cup, which is magnetized. Ah, okay. 
sorry, I'm really geeking out because I've been wanting this grinder for like years. And then this is the second iteration of the grinder and has special like burrs on it. The burrs are those, those like pieces of metal, the grinder burrs that are just really high quality. With that, I got a new coffee. So I get to taste this Guji coffee, this Ethiopian Guji coffee from Kuma Coffee. And I'm not exactly sure where Kuma is. Is it, it's in Seattle. Oh, my hometown. And with all of that, I got a new coffee container. So it's the same, it's the Atmos, it's, this, it's from a fellow. So what this does is it's one of those vacuum sealed ones. So we got a brand new Atmos container. I have my markers coming in to mark all these soon. So this is the brand new Atmos container. Right, let's just slide this off. Oh, I can't because it's stuck to it. Okay, fine. I hear you, I see you. There we go, it's off now. This is gonna be the brand new container that I use for my coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and open. Oh wow, that sticker is a really nice one. And I keep all of my bags because I want to make a big like thing on the back of all of the different coffees that I have gotten over the past, you know, however long this has been. Oh, I need to get scissors. Oh, I don't have scissors, but I do have a knife. So let's go ahead and get the knife. Let's open it. So we have that. And then we're going to pour all these freshly delicious beans into this. Fits perfectly. Keep the bag. When was this roasted? November 13th. Ooh, five days off of roast date. That's great. It's ready to go. It is ready to go. Guys, we are talking about video games today. Don't worry. Today I want to talk to you about Super Mario RPG and how much fun I've been having with that. Okay, let's get our water going. We I just can't wait. I haven't actually used this yet. I put some beans through it to make sure that everything was running properly and it um, it seems to be running properly. Um, and so I was kind of concerned because the packaging was compromised, but it seems to be fine. So let's get our beans. We're just gonna go standard recipe, 25 grams. This is the start. 25 grams of beans here. This is, I, like, I can't even explain to you how excited I am right now to try this. I hope that it opens up the coffee, you know, when it comes to flavor, but we will have to see. So we're going 25 and we're gonna go 16 to one, which puts us at 250 plus 150, which is 400. So 400 grams out. So 16 to one is 400 grams out. And then, Tighten this sucker up. And we are fully sealed up. Okay. I have this, 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 this is a little brush for the grinder. And let's pre-wet our filter and then we're gonna go and hit the grinder. Oh, oh, oh man! This is uh, exciting. I, I haven't been this excited for a piece of gear. It's such a long time, and I purchased it uh, full price. Well, as full price as I needed to. Uh, they they run, you know, bundle discounts. I purchased a few things so that I could get a bundled price, and so that's where we're at. Okay, I know I'm 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 really milking this, but I'm not doing it on purpose. I just want everything to be perfect. So we have this, this, everything's here. My tasting cup, which I'm going to put right here. The water, and we'll have this in here and here we go Whew. shalom and does it auto shut off it does it auto shuts off hit the little knock take this out and oh so here it is, here's the coffee. And what we have here is we have this like little, these little like things to have it come out uniformly. Dude, that is something special, man. And then it just sits on top, seals right in. Oh, put that right in. And then we wait for it. <laughs> okay, let's get this right here and away we go. Holy oh, 
smokes, dude. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We got our first pour on the new grinds, on the new coffee and the new grinder, dude. This is something special. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very exciting episode of Caffeine and Consoles. Uh, today, we're going to talk more about a game that I really am excited for. I've been playing, I played for two hours last night, um, Super Mario RPG. We are recording in the morning. You're seeing this the same day I got it because I got so much stuff yesterday. I wanted to have this video out with this grinder and I was like oh, I'm gonna do its own video because I want to give it the attention it deserves and I'm like no I'm not these aren't YouTube videos these are anti YouTube videos I'm just talking to you guys like we're close friends and this is exactly how it oh dude also it has little like a little gauge of like what you need to set it to <laughs> I'm really excited um but Super Mario RPG oh so yesterday I I booted up dude and I'm like playing the game and just I so I had gone back and I had played the original my boy is talking I had played the original um, just for like the first 30 minutes because I wanted to see like hey is how close is this to the original and it's almost exactly and so that was a really cool little experience I played uh, yeah the first 30 minutes I have an emulated version of it and so that was fun but then I started playing and there are elements of this game I see it didn't get the best reviews online which whatever those don't really matter to me but like there are elements of this game that I'm like man they really took care of this this game and what I like is that they created some sort of cinematic to it it wasn't perfect but like so when you are, you know, going up to the castle, they have different viewpoints. Back in the day, they didn't have these viewpoints. It was just kind of like what was already there. And the, like, the character models that already existed um, in game. And so you have a little bit of this 3D effect. What I was a little bit jarred by, so I'm noticing right out the gates that my grind setting is a little fine. So I'm gonna have to um, definitely open that up. Because this is running a little slower than I would have wanted it to run. So I'm going to pop that, pop that, swirl. I want to get a three and a half minute. So I'm going to actually click this two clicks for this next one. Cool. We'll click it over there. Um, what, I was, what I was pretty impressed by was the... No, sorry, not impressed. What I was a little bit disappointed by, not impressed, opposite, is... The frame rate was interesting. Now I'm not gonna sit here and complain about frame rates because I'm not that person. Um, but I wasn't expecting cinematics to be set at 30. It's not that big of a deal, honestly, if we're really talking about it. Like um, cinematics at 30 for a game like Super Mario RPG, like it's not voice acted, which is another thing that I was kind of interested uh, to see. Um, I didn't think it would be voice acted. Like why Mario's not really voice acted, but um, it's just like text over cinematics. It's kind of weird, a little bit, not jarring, but not to be, it's not what I fully expected when looking at a game like Super Mario RPG um, that has gameplay mechanics and then there's like 3D little uh, cinematics that exist. But what I was just like taken back to was I switched the music to classic music. I wanted to hear some of the classic tunes. It is the classic music. And then I played the modern ones too. And I was like, this is, this is pretty cool. This is exactly it. And it was the first time in a long time. This was a little, I would say this is a little long. I'm definitely gonna, we're gonna go a full click next time. Cause this is taking a while. It's too fine. That's good to know. That's good to know that that's too fine. What does this say? Pour over is all the way there. So I was at the tight end of pour over. So I need to go, yeah, in the mid end of pour over. Okay, good to know. Um, what I was excited to see was just the hear the sounds and the mechanics and the different things that they adjusted, right? So I will, f I do think that the actual fighting mechanics of the game seemed a little uh, easier, right? The timing was easier um, to get the extra attack as well as 
the uh, there just seemed to be a tremendous amount of additional items. If I'm being honest with you, a lot of additional items, and that was for sure something that I was like, okay, I'm just getting items all day long. I didn't die. I don't think I was going to, and I can see how this game is a little bit shorter. I mean, I played within the first hour and a half, two hours, and I already got one of the stars. That's pretty early on. Now, I don't remember this game as much from days of old, but I can tell you that yesterday I was on a Discord call with my buddy, and it was just like every moment I felt like I was going, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, dang, oh, cool, oh, wow, oh, sick. And like, that's just what I want from a game, you know? And it was it was a really cool start to this. Take a quick pause. That drip out was too long. We now know. We're gonna go ahead and taste, but I wanna take a look at the the bed. This is the, the brew bed or grind bed. I don't know exactly. I wanna see, cause it looks soft on top. How far down until we get to the grind. Okay, so it looks like the grind uniformity is, yeah. So we got good grind uniformity. It doesn't seem like we have too many fines or anything. That's good, good, okay. Just my cup of water, oh, it's underneath the, so that, that's good. Um, it seems, yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. On to the tasting. All right, we figured out the grind uniformity is good. Let's taste it, okay? Guji, Ethiopia, it's bright. It smells real bright. Mm, it's a lighter body, that's for sure. Oh, it's clean though. Wow. It's really clean. It's really clean. <laughs> what do I mean by clean? So, coffee can taste, there's no bitterness. What the heck? <sighs> okay, <laughs> let me explain. So with coffee, it can be bitter at times, that bite that you get in your mouth. And that has to do with extraction not being even. When you don't have even extraction, you might get more of certain parts during certain uh, times of the extraction, right? So beginning, middle, and end of extraction. And so if you have bigger grinds and smaller grinds, the bigger ones are gonna pull off more and the smaller ones are gonna pull off less. And therefore, you're gonna have an imbalance to the full extraction time. When you have a more uniform grind, then you're going to have uh, better consistent uh, extraction, therefore having better flavor characteristics throughout, whether it's better highs, lows, whatever it may be. When you have certain particle size, and the particle size is the size of the actual little grind that comes out of the machine after you've taken the bean and you've crushed it and you ground it to the little things. If you have uniformity in that particle size in it of itself, then you have even better consistency with flavor, therefore showcasing and really pushing forward the flavor that has existed in the coffee. So when you have a high quality grinder that has the type of burrs that are in here, you will have more complexity and more of a flavor that exists with these coffees because it's able to give you a consistent particle size. That particle size mixed with proper water temperature, good quality water, um, and proper technique as well as brew method, all when partnered together can give you flavors that would be lost in something that wouldn't be as consistent. Now, the grinder that I was using, the hand grinder, is more consistent than my electronic grinder that I've had for years, and it was already giving me really nice bright tastes and floral tones and stuff like that with the coffees I was using. But this, <laughs> that's insane. Well worth the money. I purchased it with a discount because they were running a 20% off if you purchase with other items and I purchased this with that and the other. This, I have an upgraded set of grinder, the grinder mechanics, which are called burrs, the metal spinning discs. Those were, a, that was a $150 upgrade. So this was, a, this retails without discount for $500 and it's worth every penny. It is unbelievable. How tasty that is. It is like a warm cup 
of blueberry like bread. Not it's not sweet. I am. Um, I'm intentionally not going to finish this on camera because I want my wife to taste this. And I don't know if I can. No, no, I'm making her a cup after this. Daddy's finishing the whole cup. We're gonna get into the science of all this eventually because I want to share with you all of the different aspects of this brew stuff that I'm doing because. It is truly exciting and really fun in a part of me that is, the more I've been making coffee these past um, few weeks, the more I've gotten excited about it. And it reminded me how much I love this craft. And while video games is something that I spend all day thinking and playing, coffee is what keeps me excited. And on a, war, on a cold, gloomy day and a hot cup of coffee, and the brew method and the, the, the dance that is making this cup of coffee, I can't explain. I mean, you're seeing this. I, I've gotten comments like, dude, what is this guy on? The, when you have like a good, you know, you know what I'm talking, when you taste something that is so good, it, I can't believe it. I can't believe I just made this at home. Super Mario RPG. All right, well also, I'm gonna be drinking so much more coffee now because that is delicious. And so, Super Mario RPG, the number one most disappointing, I have to I have to do this. The number one most disappointing thing about this game is the um, artwork on the cover. I was talking about this with my buddy Chase. Look at this. Dude, like, how embarrassing is that? It's a white background with the characters on front. They couldn't, I mean, the inside at least is like the map, but dude, like, come on. Why are you doing my, my boy dirty like this? Super Mario, Super Smash, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario, O-P-Q-R, Super Mario RPG goes right here. Because yes, my games are alphabetized. Super Mario RPG is a game that I am currently playing through and I am going to probably beat it before December 1st because it's not that long if you want to play this game with me make sure that you're in the discord and we can talk about it and that brings me to my next announcement it's not really an announcement it's something I'm working on I've been playing with the idea and we've it, it already exists on the channel but it's gonna be on patreon fully now as of December 1st it's called Officially, the Cartridge Society. It originally was called Cartridge Club, but there was another group of people that have this exact same idea that I didn't know about called the Cartridge Club, and they're active. And I do not want to step on their toes. And I do not want to get even near it. I want them to understand that, hey, you have the name, it's all yours. I like the word cartridge. We're sticking with cartridge. We're going to be Cartridge Society. This Cartridge Society is going to be um, also known as Cart Social. I'm going to call it Cart Social a lot, um, but Cartridge Society or Cart Social is our game of the month, okay? Hallelujah. I just, I just can't believe that this is my life now. Cartridge Society is going to be game of the month. It probably will end up being more than one game in a month because I think that one game a month might be, I don't know, I might want to do more than that. That game will be played by everybody. Everyone's gonna discuss it, we're all gonna talk. There's gonna be live streams. Those live streams will be exclusive to uh, Patreon. Whether they'll be on Patreon or on YouTube for members, I, I don't know yet how that's all gonna work out because all of that rigmarole is details. It's very simple. There are only two things that I'm actively working on. One is cups, coffee, and video games. My kid's yelling right now. Thank you very much. I told her I was recording and she's like, now's the time to yell. So it's cups and co I mean, coffee and gaming and then Cartridge Society. 
December 1st, we will launch the first game that we're gonna play and everyone's gonna play it together. I'm not gonna hide the game from anyone, but I'm also not gonna broadcast it here on, you know, I'm not doing live streams as much as I did before because I don't have time to. And I realized that in gaming, with gaming burnout and all this different stuff that's going on, I was like really starting to lose my passion and what revitalized it was taking a step back, stop getting analytic about things. I was getting really, really like hyper-focused on like, oh, are these different things in this game, what can I talk about? RPG, now, nah, dude, I'm a consumer again. I'm a consumer of coffee and a consumer of video games. And so, uh, just sticking to that. Um, but I realized that playing games with other people really did re-excite me. And so my plan moving forward is to do just that. I just wanna play video games with other people and I think that you do too. And so I was like, how can we do this and create something that can grow and turn into something that's potentially huge and massive and exciting and, and it, people meet up. And so that's where Cartridge Society came up. And I'm like, man, this is gonna be a fun idea to explore. And I, I cannot wait to do more of that with other people. I had to take a quick pause because I thought someone was dying outside. Turns out they're just having too much fun. So, Cartridge Society is something that like, I wish I would have had when I was younger. I would have had, you know, this kind of club to be a part of and it seems like a lot of fun. Um, as it stands now, based on Patreon, 4.99 I guess is what it is. Um, the launch again is December 1st. December 1st is gonna go live and you're good to go. I mean, it's live now, but there's gonna be actual like posts on there. I have a plan. I'm developing a plan this month so that I actually stick to something. Um, part of the thing that I've gotten back by doing these talks and doing these gaming things is just like my time. And so I can devote it into something that I feel like is meaningful and community is always meaningful. Cartridge Society is its own thing. Our Discord that exists is also its own thing. That Discord is the Discord. You're good. Don't worry about that. That's not gonna cost money. There is a subsection in that Discord that exists for Cartridge Society, but that's its own thing. So don't worry about Discord. I love what our Discord is doing. There's so many people in it having fun and so many people just talking and it just feels real again. Everything about this feels real. And my last video, I said I was gonna be looking over the gear I'm getting rid of, which don't worry, that'll be coming next video. I just got this <laughs> new gear. It got me really excited, but because of this, I get to get rid of stuff, right? With this, this just replaces my hand grinder, which for recipes will always have its own. So I'll do this and then I'll figure out what the grind setting was for this. And then I'll figure out what the grind setting is for that to get them to match as close as possible. Or you can just, just get this. I, do, I don't, it's too much, okay, too much. You don't need to get something like this, although it's worth it. Um, so, I'm excited for the gear that I'm getting. My room is, believe it or not, with all this new stuff, getting less and less cluttered, which also excites me to no end. I, I today, feels like a new beginning. Even though this is cup 18, it feels like a completely new adventure. And it's because I'm finally getting better tools to do what I want to do, and I have a purpose. Which is, I didn't know. When I started this, there wasn't a purpose. The, the purpose was to, well I guess there was, the purpose was to refine my passion. I have. <laughs> it's back. Um, and so that's really exciting. But now the real purpose, the, the next phase, the next big purpose for me is to continue making cups with you guys but build out this cartridge society and this awesome conglomerate and just big group of people who play video games together. And so that, that my friends is quite exciting. I am gonna need to have some food because this is delicious and I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. And so there's that. And also I only have two steps left. One. Two. Oh my gosh. That is 
quite possibly the best cup of coffee I've ever made in my house. That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Happy gaming.